The Cold War made America renew its values, invent new images for American virtue. Men and women in all walks of life, we are shareholders in the greatest enterprise on earth, the United States of America Unlimited. Our strength lies in the character of our people, young in heart, independent in thought and nature, skilled of hand. American enterprise has harnessed fire and water, wind, sun, and soil to produce an abundance of everything. Was communism out to destroy all this? American propaganda said it was. Stalin said, the whole world is a bear that the Soviet Union demobilized its forces after the war. Beware the big lie. At home, Americans feared red subversion. Congress revived the House Committee on Un-American Activities. In 1947, the committee investigated Hollywood, factory of America's imagination. Have ever observed any communistic information in any scripts? Well, I have turned down quite a few scripts because I thought they were tinged with communistic ideas. They uh, haven't attempted to use me, I don't think, because apparently uh, they know that I'm not very sympathetic to communism. There has been a small group within the Screen Actors Guild which has consistently opposed the policy of the Guild Board and Officers or the Guild itself as evidenced by the vote on various issues. That uh, small clique uh, has been referred to, has been discussed as more or less following the tactics that we uh, associate with the Communist Party. If I had my way about it, they'd all be sent back to Russia or some other unpleasant place. Ten witnesses, the Hollywood Ten, defied the committee's right to ask about their beliefs. Are you a member of the Communist Party? Or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? It's unfortunate and tragic that I have to teach this committee the that's basic principles the question, of Americanism. That's not the question. The question is, have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? I'm framing my answer in the only way in which any American citizen can frame his then you denied, the question then you, which invades his absolutely invade the Then you mind. deny, to, you, you refuse to answer that question, is that correct? I have told you that I will All right. offer my beliefs, my affiliations, and Here's everything the else Here's the to the American right. public, and they will know where I stand, as they do from what I have written. Stand away from the stand. I have written for Americanism for many years, and I shall stand away from the stand. fight for the Bill of Rights, which I'll you are trying to take destroy. This man away from the stand. Others from the film industry demonstrated their support for the constitutional rights of the Ten. Are you, or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? I believe I have the right to be confronted with any evidence which supports this question. I should like to see what you have. Oh, well, you would. Yes. Well, you will pretty soon. <laughs> the witness is excused. Either you completely cooperated with the committee, which meant saying yes or no to the question about whether you were a communist or ever had been, and um, if, if the answer was yes, as it was in my case, um, the ne we knew the next question was who else was, and we certainly didn't want to go into that. The ten were imprisoned. With hundreds more, they were blacklisted, their livelihoods taken away. People generally in Hollywood were pretty scared to have anything to do with us. Whereas before we went to prison, they had um, not been nearly as scared, and there were plenty of undercover arrangements that were made to uh, uh, write scripts under pseudonyms for a good deal less money than you were accustomed to being paid. There were uh, a couple of possible suicides as a result of it. There were um, uh, a, a, a good deal of... Uh, Misery. Americans feared that the enemy would take advantage of their freedoms, 
that agents of communism were undermining America. A Soviet spy ring unearthed in 1946 led investigators to Alger Hiss, who had been a wartime foreign policy advisor. He was accused of passing secrets to the Soviet Union by a former communist, Whitaker Chambers. Have you ever seen this individual who is standing? I have. Do you know him? I identify him. In 1935 was the last time that you saw him. According to my best recollection, not having checked the record. Now, would you remain standing a moment, Mr. Hiss? Do you know... Hiss firmly denied that he had betrayed his country. New evidence of communist activities in government circles is promised by the House Committee on Un-American Activities. Microfilm reportedly found in a pumpkin on a Maryland farm is examined by investigator Stripling and Congressman Nixon. Richard Nixon, an ambitious young Republican, was convinced that Hiss was lying. It is the intention of the Committee on Un-American Activities to pursue this investigation until we put the spotlight on those high officials in the State Department who were responsible for selling this country down the river. Hiss was jailed for perjury. Nixon's name was made. He turned his crusade against communism into a weapon for Republicans. It was what made him. It paved the way for, for his whole career afterwards. Anti-communism was a gut issue with Nixon. I mean, it was something he believed sincerely and deeply, but of course he was a politician too. And he was a Republican politician, and the soft on communism issue was hurting the Democrats. And of course he used it. He would have been a fool not to.